Hello from Bryson City. Time for another free art lesson. Um, sorry I'm a little late today. Uh, had some work stuff to take care of, which is great. So um, we're going to do some drawing of animals today. So I've got some stuff set out here. Our basic drawing equipment, pencil, paper, pencil sharpener, that kind of stuff. Um, any animals, I'm trying to set this up. So I'm trying to set this up so I can see your comments uh, while I draw. So if there's any animals in particular that you want to see, I'm going to show you the basic uh, basic structure for drawing um, an animal. It's essentially the same as a person. You can start off with the wireframe and fill in the details from there. Um, so we'll get started right now. Let me switch the camera around. All right. There's my pencil sharpener. Let me get that completely in there. There we go. All right. <clears throat> pencil sharpener, very important. Grab me a pencil here. Start off with a 6B. So uh, let's do some animal faces to start off with. So how about... We'll start off, we'll draw a triangle. So with the triangle, um, we're going to draw a fox. A fox with uh, they have their pointy ears, they have their nose, they have their fox eyes. Foxes have a little bit of a some hair there on the side and then the tips of their ears and foxes have whiskers too so now how would that be different from a wolf well, a wolf is going to be more of a triangle like this a little bit of a circle at the top ears out to the side nose and wolf is going to have more hair lower down than the fox does up here just like that wolf also has some whiskers but not as long as the foxes wolf have a little bit of hair here and here Fill those ears in a little bit more, round them off. A little bit of fluff inside the ears. There we go. All right. Um, a cat. Also another triangle. But this time a very broad triangle. Watch out for the wind. You can also draw a little bit more of a circle on top. Cats have smaller ears. Just like that. Nose like that. Actually, this cat looks like there's the mouth and there's where the nose should be. <laughs> we'll give this cat a little bit of a body too. So, paws, legs. He's going to sit on his legs here. He's going to have that tail coming around. Fluffy tail. And of course, cats come in all shapes and sizes and colors and stripes and patterns. So, all sorts of different things. Uh, you can draw the bird, which is a cone or a triangle and a circle. Depends on what kind of bird you're drawing. Could be a roadrunner, not sure. We'll have to figure it out. Slide up a little bit. 
Now, a horse has a rectangle for a face with two ears at the top, it rounds at the bottom. They have a bit of a jaw that comes back, and then their neck comes down this way. Don't forget the mane. Don't forget they have noses right here, and their eyes are up here. draw a giraffe. A giraffe would be um, like that. Long neck on the giraffe. And it's going to have two ears off to the side. Nose and a muzzle right here. Comes up and it has those two little funky horns up here. And don't forget his eyes. <laughs> he looks more like a dinosaur than a giraffe. Let me work on him here some. A little bit of hair as he comes down his neck. And don't forget his spots. Put some better eyes on him. Right. Let's see. My favorite ways, I've had a bird up here. One of my favorite ways to draw a bird is when they're flying. Just these quick marks to get these wings in. Just like that. Tail feathers in the back would be spread out too, and his wing on the other side, just like that. Very quickly, quick little sketch of a bird. <coughs> Talking about the fox earlier. Foxes have big bushy tails. You have your fox. Turned and looking at you. His big bushy tail, a little bit of hair. Just like that. What other kind of animals? Um, you draw a chicken. Which came first, chicken or the egg? Well, there's the egg, so here's the chicken. Just like that. Nice, quick little chicken. We'll make him a rooster. We can turn it into a rooster. Just like that. Let's see. How about some other farm animals? Oh, and I just thought of a couple good ones, too. Um, the squirrel. Squirrel here. His 
his big bushy tail. <laughs> uh, forget our rabbit. You can do a rabbit a couple of different ways. You can do a rabbit like this. Since Easter is coming up, you want to draw a rabbit or two. There we go. Here's that wind again. There's a quick little rabbit that way. And then there's also, don't forget the, uh, was it the, uh, More like a peeps rabbit. <laughs> oh, he looks like he wants hair. So more realistic, more com more comical. Your choice. Um, a pig. He's more comical too. He's a little hair on his chin. Remember hair on his chinny chin chin? Here, he's got a full beard. There we go. <laughs> Pig with a beard. Hair on his chinny chin chin. All right. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, oh, my one of my favorites. Where did it go? But the uh, Pelleated Woodpecker, you might know him as Woody the Woodpecker. They have this crazy beak. And then they have the neck. And usually, like that, and then you got the wings that come back through here. And you got the tail, nice long tail. <laughs> Man, bear, pig. <laughs> so, some other things I was talking about earlier drawing wire frames to create animals. So, you can do that. Um, Let's see if I can draw you a dog here. Dog or a, some kind of cat. But just to get the shape, so when you draw the back legs of an animal, don't forget that they usually have a foot like this. Um, with another little pad up here. Maybe some shading here. And as you fill it in, you shade it all in. And their foot on the other side would be over here. And it's probably going to be in shadow, so. Fill that in. Oop. 
Anyway. If I make this thick enough, we could draw a collie. <laughs> Just drawing right over top of my other drawing. Sketch, sketch, sketch. Can also draw um, some little animal silhouettes. Um, little squiggle animals. These actually would be far more interesting with a colored pencil. the other one There's your frog, and of course the uh, there's this fly. <laughs> right. Trying to think what else animal-wise we could draw. Oh, and then there's also, of course, the uh, back to drawing the horse. proverbial uh, unicorn. <laughs> snake? Michael Henson asked for a snake.
You ready? Here comes the snake. <laughs> no, no, it's more complicated than that. So it is easy to start off with one curvy line. Now, it depends on what kind of snake it is. So, if it is a <clears throat> if it is a non-poisonous snake, the tail gets really skinny at the end, and then when you draw its head, the head is usually in line with the body. It has a round eye and more of a round nose. Put the rest of it in there. And then just for a pattern, we'll go around through here like this. Just some quick little lines, make it look like it has some pattern and texture. So, now the difference, if it was a poisonous snake, so this is important information. If it was a poisonous snake, it would not have a long skinny tail. It would have a round fat tail. And it's going to come around this way. And they're going to get pretty thick pretty quick. That's because they are, they're in the... A non-poisonous snake is usually a constrictor. A poisonous snake is usually a striker. And the other thing is the head difference. Because it has to have a place to put its... To keep its poison. So its head is usually shaped like a heart with poison glands. Also... They usually have rather mean eyes instead of rounded off. Nostrils always on top, squared off front of its mouth, just like that. And of course, whatever pattern you'd like for them to have. If it's a rattlesnake, it will have a diamond pattern. If it's a copperhead, it will have a splotchy pattern, which mimics the edges of leaves. So, you decide. But, be on the lookout for those. And these. You want to keep the good ones. You want to keep the like that. They eat rats. If you don't have black snakes around eating rats, then these guys show up to eat the rats. So... Oh, I forgot another. Here's another fun. Since we're doing creepy crawlies, snakes, there's the, the. Really quick spider. More like. More like Charlotte. I should have a, a head. I'll make this like the Charlotte's web spider. She was nice. But spiders are pretty simple. You can start off with a big circle and then go directly to a smaller circle. And that'd be it. There's two of the eight eyes. couple different little spiders here and then spiders can also be um, ooh that just remind me of something else we can draw the beginnings of a fly a wasp a hornet a bee whatever you want it to be Barn owl. Ooh, we could do a couple owls. Now I didn't do a barn. Uh, any owls earlier? I did uh, foxes and dogs and wolves, a little cat. But um, we'll do an owl right up here. 
Start off with like a like an oval, maybe a football shape. Define this in a little bit better up here, and then like that. Have a beak. Have some eyes. That's a pretty straight up comical, more of a comical style, but. Um, you know, a little screech owl. It's funny that you, we hear screech owls around here in the woods. Um, spring, summer, into fall. And these these little screech owls are no bigger than usually six, six seven inches tall. They're itty bitty little owls. They put out a lot of noise. Some of them have a little horn, some of them don't. A couple of little squiggly lines there for some feet. Owls when they fly, too. Pretty big wingspans. So you can draw an owl flying. Well, I've covered a few animals. We can always do more. Um, if you have any suggestions or anything, put those in the comments. Around you, unicorns. <laughs> Whatever animals you draw, I would love to see them. So please post those in the comments. Any other questions, I'll take those in the comments too. So, otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day, uh, and uh, stay safe. We'll see you next time. Take care.